this Australian paranormal horror film is one you need to check out. For all you horror fans and horror buffs, yes, this is what you need to check out. Let's jump into the review of the new film, Surrogate. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Surrogate which is available digitally on Amazon and will be available soon as of September 16th on Tubi and Google TV. Now let me clear something up right away. I, I, I know that there's a little bit of a slander based on the distribution here and I know you may have not have heard of the film and I know you may think oh it's just another indie film etc etc etc. Listen this film is done well the production is well and it's certainly one you need to check out i want to start off by giving props to uh the writer beth king alongside of david willing who's also in his feature directorial debut in this film I, the two of them i thought uh, listen <laughs> fantastic job let's just call it what it is um and i thought this film just kept me guessing um, and did a lot of good things that I like about horror films. First of all, I thought the story was interesting. I thought the acting was good. And then just the cinematography and then all sorts of different things in terms of the production really came together well to give you a really good, entertaining, yet scary horror film. So folks, let's talk about it real quick. Now. Let, let me start by saying, uh, Casty Morasai, who plays our lead in Natalie Paxton. She is a single mother um, who is also a nurse and just in one area of counter at night, led from one thing to the next. She meets the strange lady, helps her. Um, she goes home, she goes to sleep. She wakes up bleeding, she, ends, she passes out wakes up next in the hospital she's in the hospital her family's there her daughter grandmother um, the doctor's there alongside of jane uh lauren balmer played by james battler who works for child and family services who she's like okay, i mean you have to think like what are you doing here but anyway natalie has no clue what's going on she just wants some stronger medication she's ready to be discharged she was in a lot of pain but she's just ready to go. And I mean, arguably so. Just a normal night, except she passed out with a lot of blood. More blood than a normal person would just have spilled under her. Like a lot of blood. Like a lot. Anyway, they start to inform her about, well, what they have discovered. And they discovered that, hey, uh, you were pregnant. And <laughs> Natalie's like, uh, not a chance. I haven't sex in a very long time. I don't have a baby. I, it can't even be a miscarriage at this point, right? And she's like, listen, we ran the test and you were definitely pregnant. So that brings Lauren's character into play because she's like, okay, we need to know where this baby's at here. And that's where the movie goes from there because after that, Natalie goes home and everything is hella strange. There's clearly something going on around her that's affecting her family, her house, and anyone she comes encounter with. Like something strangely is happening. So with that being said, you know, they diagnose, they assessed her as being a medical mystery because they're just like, well, and it definitely appears that she was pregnant, but there's no baby. So like, what the heck is going on here? But, you know, when Natalie returns to her life, as I said, a lot of different random crazy things are happening. It sorts to kind of forms itself to us as some type of demonic entity. And that's where the whole paranormal aspect of this starts to take off as Natalie tries to figure out what's haunting her and her family. Lauren's out here looking for the baby and more things to come as other people get involved. So listen, I, I, this, this film really, there was a lot that really made this film work from the jump scares, uh, which were limited, but, and not used the entire time in the film, but they were effective, which I loved. And I thought that this film used a lot of different horror, classic horror tropes. Um, really paying homage to all of the classic where you can say like, oh, I know where they got that from. I, I, I remember them using this style from this and that. So like this film used a lot of different combination of things to really bring the horror to life here. On uh, the score 
was certainly creepy um, and, and I think it truly added to the mystery aspect of this because yes while this is a horror film there's definitely a mystery as to this whole baby thing this whole demonic entity thing and so on the set location I thought the house that they used and the different other little locations that they used I thought was really well picked uh, which also was just creepy in itself like the house itself really was like yeah something's definitely going to happen in this and the low light shot which also makes me uh, I, I should not towards the, the um, cinematography and how they really, really was able to capture some of these moments without anything even happening and the hairs on your back sort of raised here. Um, I want to say that Cassidy really worked well with the younger cast from uh, Tasha, uh, who played her daughter uh, Rose. And, and, and then there was another character I thought was really a standout in this film, Ava, especially in like this third act. Uh, Ava, who was played by uh, uh, Ellie Stewart. Re I mean, this this little girl really brought an extra element in, into this film that really shook things up, along with her dad, Malcolm, who's played by Matthew Crosby. So, you know, I thought like the supporting cast really, everybody had a moment to really make their part of the film work and truly elevating the stakes and just the mystery because you continuously wonder like what is happening and why is it happening you know what i mean so there's a lot of little different things happening in this film uh and i and i thought that like with this demonic parasite that's kind of going around here you kind of wonder how it's all going to wrap up and that gets you to this twist in this film that i thought was completely insane i had my suspicion but I just thought, like, how it was executed, I thought was done beautifully. To the point that, like, yeah, you're invested the entire time because you want to see how it play out. And then once you get your conclusion, you're just like, ah, clever, clever. I like it. I like it. So I was really, I was, I was really digging this film because as a horror film itself, it's done really well. As a, as a mystery, you're suspicious of all the characters. I mean, Natalie, again, Malcolm, Lauren, just so many different characters that you're just like, what is happening here? You know, I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to believe. So many different things are happening. And then like the third act of the film, is just like the ice and the cake. Things is really going to a really crazy uh, aspect of, of the film that I didn't see coming. That's where like the true the true supernatural paranormal stuff really starts to peel out and and, and and thus you better be ready for all of the different things that's gonna happen. I, I, Ava, I gotta say, just the voice work that this, that this little girl did and how they was able to kind of manipulate her voice, so creepy, so creepy. Ellie did a fantastic job there, so. Um, but you know, I, I, I think that, you know, this journey with Natalie, as she discovers that something is happening around her, she may not be the only person that this is happening to, uh, things get things get crazy. And you're not going to be ready for the twist, the jump scares, and all sorts of different other surprises, while also being able to recognize the different, uh, yet very classic selection of horror tropes that are used in this film that really make this work so hey this film is a no-brainer for me you check it out it's easily accessible you got plenty of options here amazon 2b google tv all available digitally check it out folks jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon